Hey, I'm Dusty Showers from Creepy Creatures. And I want to tell you a little bit about snakes. What do you do when you think you're being attacked by a water moccasin? First, see if it's a water moccasin. First, see if it's a water moccasin. Oh, wrong end. There's some snakes that look just like water moccasins. And even trained professionals like me have to take a really, 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 really close look to tell if it's actually a water moccasin. So the first thing, these guys have a head that looks very triangular, especially when they get scared. The head flattens. So some people say, it's got a flat head, it must be a water moccasin. That's not really true. It also has a rough body like a water moccasin. And when they get scared, they flatten out a lot like a water moccasin. So I get calls for these all the time and people are like, I got me a water moccasin, you gotta come get it. And I said, well, a lot of snakes, actually most snakes turn out to not be water moccasins. They turn out to be banded water snakes. And then they go, oh, I grew up on a farm, Dusty. I know the difference. I grew up on a farm. I know a water moccasin when I see a water moccasin, Dusty. That's a water moccasin. And they even have a brown spot on their head that makes them look like a water moccasin. But before you do this, make sure that you know it's not a water moccasin. Now, I'm still trying to figure out what this guy is. And... I thought if I put him up like this, and if he bit me, then I'll know if he's water moccasin. Oh, is he getting tangled in my hair? So you can see that this harmless banded water snake that's often killed because people think it's a water moccasin is incredibly gentle. Like one of my favorite snakes. How cool is this? Remember, be kind to snakes. Never kill snakes and don't always just assume that because it looks like a water moccasin that it is a water moccasin because it's probably not a water moccasin. Here's your disclaimer. There are water moccasins in many parts of the country. So before you do things like this to a snake, make sure it's not a water moccasin because they have a hemotoxic venom, which means when they bite you, they inject this venom into your bloodstream and it starts to eat away the tissue. And day after day after day, it gets worse and worse and worse. And although it's very rare to die from a water moccasin bite, it's really gonna ruin the next few months in your life. So be very, very careful when handling snakes, but also be very kind to them. Like, how could you not like this dude? Look at how friendly he is. If he had hands, he would shake my hand and say, hey, Dusty, thanks. Dusty, I once found a water moccasin that was 12 feet long. Well, then you didn't find a water moccasin, or it wasn't 12 feet long. Water moccasins don't get that big. Rarely do you find one over five feet. If you found one that's over 12 feet, you either aren't that good at estimating sizes, or it's not a water moccasin. Surprisingly, most snakes don't relocate very well, meaning they don't really survive when you relocate them but sometimes you don't have an option. So it's best to keep him as close to home whenever possible. So we're gonna let this guy go in this pond, only a couple blocks away. Snakey. All right, Mr. Sneaky Snakey, look a new home. Oh man, it's awesome, look at that. There's algae, there's cattails. There's even an ingo over there. Oh, go, 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 go. And he's on the edge. Just one little tail left. And he's gone. Enjoy your new home. Hey guys, be nice to him, okay? He's a good snake. He's fully vetted. And remember, always be kind to pit bulls. Ow, that's my nose. Sit, possum, sit. Good possum. <laughs>